fire but uh, it's that time of the night and literally seriously uh, I need some shy but I just want to put through I want to put it out there and for maybe people can help me uh, I have a question if you like now there was a march on the 27th of July there was a rally in fact uh, around 70,000 people turned up for that rally and it was uh, overwhelmingly peaceful very peaceful uh, rally I think um, do the sums correctly I think it was 0.011 percent of that crowd got arrested i.e. eight people uh, were arrested at that rally and part of that eight were counter protesters so it was amazingly very very peaceful rally and the organizers of the rally insisted that no masks were to be worn at that rally there was a lot of liaising with the police about the route where the rally was going to be people were told to look out for each other and if people were misbehaving to put them in check that the stewards were there to steward the actual rally and uh, it was very important to show that people were out there celebrating British values in a peaceful manner and everybody was welcome all cultures were welcome overall okay so that was on the 27th of July you were told the light was covered the face no masking or anything like that so then over the last week or so I've seen in the media lots of rallies from people whereby I've heard chanting for example of uh, Tommy Ro Robinson oh Tommy 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 the son of the father isn't it that, that's the tune isn't it son of the father da, 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 da. it's a 70s, 70s tune but they're, they're singing Tommy Robinson to it in these crowds um, also they were shouting out EDL so uh, that strikes me as odd if two things that strike me are odd number one the constant chanting of Tommy Robinson which is odd because Tommy Robinson hadn't organised any of those marches the uh, singing and shouting of EDL that's odd the fuggery and violence involved that's odd so my question is who organized these marches because the media are saying that it was people from out of town now let's put it this way if it was people from their hometowns maybe it was quite it could be quite spontaneous um, in which case it wasn't coordinated by uh, anyone to do say with Tommy Robinson or, or whatever or the, uh, Dan or whatever Tomo yeah if it was organized from people who were out of town and people were going in buses over to go on these demonstrations who organized it who organized it because no one's talking about who organized these marches how were they organized how did the people know to come out on those marches it's 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 interesting it is interesting how the people knew where to be and what to protest and also singing edl which doesn't exist and tommy robinson who hadn't organized the march um yeah that that's that's it really it's, it's just a curious and then when you got that situation whereby uh, it was uh, alluded that so-called uh, far-right uh, protesters who were going to be protesting in sort of like 10 different towns across the country so that sort of anti uh, 
uh, uh, uh, counter protests came out onto the streets, like what happened in uh, Wardenstow or Bristol, I think. Um, and then all of a sudden it never happened. And then the chap from, uh, is it Nick Lowe from Hope Not Hate, said that it was just a hoax. So is it the people who create that hoax that the people are going to protest in 11 or 10 different cities? Are these the same people who organised the original uh, writing what's going on? Because no one's really speaking about who is organising it. They're not identified. They're not said, these people organised it. Apparently there's a lot of police. And they're combing the internet. Finding out who's writing stuff online. And they're going after people who are retweet, retweet, uh, tweeting things and stuff like that. But no one's coming up and saying, uh, this organisation here, this right-wing organisation, organised it. They're not. They're not saying it. Anyway, let's just pause for thought. You have a think about that. Maybe you can let me know. Or maybe it's just been created. Maybe this is like some sort of like COVID compliance sort of uh, psycho-ops exercise. Because that's what it's looking like to me at the moment. <laughs>